that right here another pretty cool gadget survival camping whatever so let's figure it out how this works some reason it's holding everything together right here cool is this sharp Ooh. Not too bad. I guess it was some sh somewhat sharp, but not too bad. Okay, how does this go together? Nope, definitely not like that. Or maybe this. So let's try to. So you got it here, two little pieces. Let's try to put it together. Is that how it goes? Yeah, you guys just lined it up like that so this is kind of cool makes sense right what i'm doing over here i'll go one more this way i should probably make it really really tight and i should probably put two this way to keep it all tight in there as well just use your imaginations okay and at the end i guess make a couple knots keep it all together this is just for example so in a way you got it here a little spear perfect for spear fishing these things are pretty sharp, so if you get it, the fish not going to come up because it looks like hooks over here, but they're not super sharp. But heavy enough to sink to the water pretty quickly or whatever else you're going to be using. This is kind of sharp over here, but not super sharp. But I think it's made this way so that way we can drive it to, into the stick. This is all my assumptions. Let me know in comments below if I'm setting up correctly. I think I am. So then imagine this is a really, really long stick. You want to set it up right in the middle like that, I guess. And another stick to drop it in. That's one not to worry about this thing getting too stuck. So, I guess the other thing I would do is tie it up around the rope right here too. Let me tie it up make it a little bit more deeper and there you go you got it here a little spear for spear fishing or something like that i uh, use the other rope to rope it around together maybe cut off a notch and rope it into here as well so that way it doesn't fly off and that way you're not losing it i got it here another pretty unique multi-tool on amazon power cord handle very nice otherwise it would not be comfortable this is cool I like the design, you can take it off, use the rope for survival situation and this is, as you can see, like a collapsible folding type of knife or axe, first of all. You can take it off and use this thing as a knife and you gotta take it off to put to it to make it a little tomahawk in a way or a little axe and you gotta Spin it all the way through. This is nice. Wow, this is high quality. I like it that you can use your own hand to make it really, really tight. So yeah, tomahawk knife. You can break it apart and use it as a regular knife. A really, really thick knife, not super long. I'm uh, going to put this away. Boom. And then let's take this out. There you go. I guess you pull it on a rope and you got right here a uh, little axe. So in a way this is a break apart tomahawk. I like that a lot because you can break it apart, use this knife section or break it apart and use this axe section. Or put it together, use it as a mini hatchet or tomahawk. Super, super unique. There you go. Really hard to take it off. Okay, let's go through it a couple of times to see the durability. First impression, the handle is lightweight, so this little hatchet and a knife still kind of a little bit heavier than actual handle. Hit it into a tree right there. I'm gonna go with the pointy side first. Ah, missed it. 
Again, I'm not really good at throwing tomahawks, but they go. There you go, it's stuck on the second try. I'm gonna do two more times with the knife side. Ah, oh, it's stuck and came out, but I think it was my fault. And the third time, ah, it's stuck. I just don't throw it as fast. Okay, will it stuck on the hatchet side? You are pointed this way. Oh, it gets stuck and unstuck. Again, it's soft bark over here, so a little bit different. One more time. I would get rid of this little loop, kind of a, in a way, whenever you're slinging it, throwing it. Don't want to get it stuck on me whenever I throw it. But yeah, makes sense. Little hatchet, tomahawk. Okay, this little thing in a way. Super lightweight, but as you can see, chopping it. Because it's just sharp. Wow, this is nice. Look at that. This is good. Love it. Very durable. As you can see, this screw actually came off a little bit. So, after a while, check on it. And obviously, want to make it sharper for camping no problem wow this is a really really nice hatchet right here look at that you can use knife for whatever reason take it off whatever carve it out too beautiful look at that awesome break apart camping fire pit so you put this one into here, I promise you guys it's going to be worth the wait. A little bit of time to set it up, the legs all four goes on the bottom and this one goes on the top. So and then you twist them all. So you have something look like this. Then we're going to go up this. Then we're going to then we're going to get this and stick it like that. Flip it over and each one of them the same way. Makes sense, right? Couple more. And the last one. Okay, and then flip it out and we got right here kind of a floating net fire pit. And then you're gonna build the firewood over here and there's plenty of ventilation. Also, we don't have to worry about clearing off the uh, grass as much unless it's a dry grass. You do want to clear that off so that nothing catches around it, but pretty cool. Let's start a fire on top of it and see what it's going to look like. Got my fire starter matches in here. We're gonna put some grass into it first and then start with small twigs and go with the bigger ones just to test it out some weight of it. And then we're gonna put some bigger ones just to test out how much weight can this thing hold. Look how tall that is. And again, it's highly, highly ventilated from the bottom top. 360 amazing That is a good fire check this out. I'm gonna put some bigger pieces now Before it burns out there you go. You want to make a little bit of a pocket in there oh. A little bit of a wet wood But hopefully I can handle it. You see I really smudged that fire filled it up almost covered up all the oxygen But there's plenty of oxygen coming from down below so let's see if it will catch on, even though all this firewood is kind of wet and there is no oxygen going to almost. Look, I can blow it under it.
It is so hot under there, I don't have to worry about it. It will dry out. Come back in a minute. Well, definitely one of a kind fire pit. Super easy to set it up, break it down. It's burning pretty good. Lots of lots of oxygen going under there. And the glass didn't get messed up, so very nice. One more thing I want to show you, I'm going to blow it from under. You see those hot coals and everything gets on flames. In the daytime the flames are harder to see, but it's pretty hot. It's burning pretty good. Okay, once it cools off, let's break it apart. Look at that. Super easy. You don't even have to do that. You could just fold it together, but if you want to put it back in a pouch, you want to break it all like this. And boom. Put it back in a pouch. Very collapsible fire pit and it's pretty decent size too. I like it. Got another titanium alcohol stove. This one is quite bigger. So I will be using this denaturated alcohol fill and let's see what it's going to look like. I love alcohol stoves. Who doesn't? It's such a unique invention. So let's take everything out. You have super, super lightweight aluminum container right here. This is the brand, what's going to look like, cool. Um, and first of all, wow, look at these holes. You have here bigger holes and a smaller holes on this lip. And also what's so cool about it, you can open up the notches and carry it around. So let's build this little uh, stand for the pot. And wow, easy. What is this for? I have no idea. Maybe I should look at the instruction. I guess you can put it like that. I guess you can have a smaller stand over here. Let's try it out. Cool. Maybe like that. I kind of like this one a little bit better. I don't know what this for. It doesn't even have it on the picture. So I'm gonna be using it as a picture and start it. Fill it up. As you can see, it can hold quite a bit. Boom. And you know what else I like? The other alcohol stoves, I couldn't blow them out. This one comes with the cover, so you cut the oxygen and it will shut off. But you will have to take this one off with some kind of gloves or something that is not your hand, so that way you not burn yourself. Okay, let's go try to boil water with this thing. First of all, let's see how it burns. Sometimes you can help it out by heating up the stove. Get that vibration going. There you go. If you have a blowtorch, it can help out. You don't have to waste your gas. You see, it's like time to kick out. But it will also will heat up itself as well. We can just wait. Okay, time to start burning out of the holes. I would be very, very careful carrying this around. I know why it's shooting off like that. That's very interesting. Maybe it's not hot enough yet. Okay, once it warms up, this is what it's going to look like. It takes a bit longer to warm up because it's a little bit bigger than the ones I put to the test before. So you just drop this thing in and then we set part of water. Wow, they actually come down even better. I like it. It has those small burning holes and big burning holes. Looks pretty beautiful. Just like a gas stove. Okay, sitting a pretty big pot of 
water, I would say a mug size. What I want to see, is it capable to boil water with only half full of alcohol inside of that alcohol stove? Okay, we'll come back in a minute. Took about five minutes to boil and burn it pretty good, not wasting too much gas. Let's try to blow it out. You see, no way I can blow it out. Okay, and there goes nothing. And that way we can turn it off. Look, look how much alcohol left in there. So, burns very, very efficiently, I can't believe it. So you can cover it up for the next time use, but it does not screw on, so it will spill out if you try to take it somewhere else. Propane compact lantern. You all seen one of these propane tanks, you can get them anywhere in the grocery store. So let's unbox them, connect them and see if they work. Okay, open this, it's a little balloon cloth, we're gonna light it up. I think after a while you will need to buy the replacement for this thing, because this whole thing comes out. Yep. So, this is glass, don't break that. And then we just put this thing in. Hopefully it doesn't matter what side. There you go. Now we're gonna put this back in, like this. It says for the outdoor use only. We'll go outside in a minute. Okay. Maybe easier to open this first. There you go. You see this whole thing is on fire. That's what we're actually trying to do. I think. Let's close this. And there you go. You see how this thing is now kind of getting really, really bright. So this thing is burning and looks like a light bulb. You can see you can make it less or higher. This is on max. There's a little notches. We don't want to cool it off because you'll have to relight it. Definitely for the outdoors use only. But for a few seconds I'm going to put it inside in a dark room to see how bright it, it is. Okay, and look at that. Looks like a light bulb. But it has actually all propane burning. So let me open the door. You see how bright it is. Now let me close it, just for a few seconds or minutes, you can make it much, much lower. I don't know if I put this tube properly, it, the balloon thing, sometimes it open, opens a little bit higher, but that works as well. You see if you want to concern it. Oh, I lost it, I'll have to relight it now. There you go, just like that. You see a few seconds. For the outdoor use, amazing. Looks like a light bulb. And whenever you want to turn it off, that's it. Super cool, don't you guys think?